start out, we're just going to open DaVinci Resolve and be in the media window. I'm going to right click this proxy folder, which we'll pretend is the RAWs, and click on Add Folder to Media Pool and Create Bins. Uh, this will just set it up so that exactly what you have in Finder goes right into the media pool and it's very convenient and very organized. We'll do the same with the audio. And that way in the master folder bin you can see we just have our what we're going to call raw media and then the audio. I'm just going to close all these tabs so it just looks nice and organized and pretty. And then I'm going to select the corresponding day from the footage and the audio. The numbers happen to be different here because day one of the shoot was MOS. And then we're going to sort by file name just to keep it in alphabetical order. If you have time code, you can just use Command A to select everything and then click on Sync by Time Code. And then hopefully everything will be good. Uh, you'll still have to kind of go through this process just to double check. So we're going to click on this clip, find the slate, it's scene 4, take 1. We'll find our corresponding audio. And then to reference the audio, I have to click on this little audio tab up here. And we want to make sure that this is set to waveform. And so now to sync these two, it's very simple. In the video, you just find the moment where the slate closes. And then in the audio, you do the same. You can see on this big graph up here, this peak is probably it. And then you click that little chain, so you know it's synced. And then as you can see, when I drag the video, the audio moves with it. And we have the five tracks of audio that came from the mixer, the left and right, and then the three inputs. And now if I go to the edit window, when I drag this clip in, you can see it's got all five tracks of audio synced with it. So now we're basically going to do this with every clip, which sometimes you got to do. It's tedious, but manual syncing is part of the gig. So we're not going to go clip by clip, dragging it into the edit sequence. You want to just stay in the media window, sync everything, and then bring it all in. And you want to just go day by day. You want to have a different sequence for each day because that'll just help you stay more organized. It'll help you compartmentalize it and just helps with ease of mind. And it helps you in the edit later. So just to demonstrate, I'm just going to quickly sync these three clips just to show how fast and easy it is. And so we'll pretend I did everything from the day, even though I only did three more clips. We'll drag these in. You don't have to get them perfectly put together, but eh, it's pleasing. And so you just want to go through clip by clip and make sure that the sync is correct. You want to check the slate. You want to check their voice to see, make sure. Ideally, you can see the face of the person who's slating and then like you know when they're calling it out that's in sync when the slate closes that's in sync and then you're good then we'll go to the deliver window and set all of our parameters for transcoding depending on if you're going into avid or premiere you'll transcode differently for Avid, you want to select uh, MXF OP Atom, and then you want to select DNX HD 36 8 bit. You don't need to worry about the advanced settings. Uh, if you're going into Premiere, you want to do QuickTime with uh, ProRes LT or Proxy. Proxy is smaller if you want smaller files. LT is bigger, but it'll look a little better. For audio, you want same as source. And then you want your bit depth to be 24. 
And then for file, you want to use the source name of the file. That way, when you relink to the RAWs, you won't have any problems. And then you just select where you're going to save. And then you select Add to Render Queue. And if you've synced all of your days, then you can just line up all of your renders to happen, select them all, and then hit render, and you're off to the races. It'll be a couple hours probably, but all of your dailies will be done after you get back from a very long nap.